Hi Legionnaires, Steve Cox here with you from High Tech Legion. Do you have to share your computer with other people, maybe children or a spouse, significant other, maybe roommates or anyone? Or do you perhaps switch different styles of holding your mouse depending on different games or, or what you're using your computer for? This might be the thing for you. This is the Gamdius Apollo Optical Gaming Mouse. It has 3200 DPI and an extension that clips on the back uh, so that you can take the extension off. It accommodates fingertip and claw grip style users and then you add the extension on and it accommodates for palm grip users. Uh, you can see it's got a nice little graphic there. These are separated currently in the image. It shows the Gandius logo and the name of the mouse, the Apollo Extension Optical Gaming Mouse. When you open it up you have a little window. You can see the mouse. Now it's a pretty small mouse. We're going to get it on the table and really get it out take a good look at the box and everything. A list of features on the inside and again on the back side of the box. Uh, not too much to go over package contents and things like that. We'll take a look at that over there. We'll get it on the table and take a good look at the box and of the mouse itself. Alright guys, let's take a little closer look at the box. You can see it's got some nice graphics on it. An image, of course, of the uh, Gamdius Apollo mouse and the extension that goes on the back for basically uh, a palm rest or a palm grip style for holding the mouse. Um, of course, it is the Apollo extension optical gaming mouse uh, and it just shows some of the things down here, multi-grip, sensitivity switch, things like that, some of their features which they basically go back over again here on the back. So getting right into the box itself. All right, now I've already removed everything from the box. Uh, you know, watching me struggle with the plastic container is not interesting, but this is everything that comes with it. A quick installation guide, the Gamdius logo on a gold with a black background and a gold with a yellow background that says Zeus there. Um, and then, of course, the mouse itself. Well, let's take a good look at the mouse and see exactly what we have here. This is a pretty small mouse. You can see I don't have huge hands or anything. Um, you know, this mouse is not much longer than, you know, my finger. Uh, the grip style, of course, in this method or in this uh, formation, maybe, I guess you want to say, is, of course, for grip type or claw grip or fingertip grip, I mean. Um... And it, you know, it feels all right, but I, I, of course, use palm grip. Now, even when I add on the extension, which is pretty simple, it slides in on both sides. It's actually easier to do it like this, but I'm trying to show you. You see the grooves on either side that these little, uh, for lack of a better word, these little tongues fit into, and then it snaps right in place. And it's actually pretty secure. It doesn't just, well, I said it doesn't, and then it did. But uh, it doesn't just come right off, but you know, you can pull it off pretty easily. But when holding it like that, even then, it's still pretty small compared to mice that I normally use. Uh, you can see that even at that, that palm rest doesn't really go to my palm, you know, and that leaves my hand just completely overwhelms the mouse. Um, Either way, though, it's still it's a comfortable mouse. It's easy enough to use. For me, these additional buttons on either side are too far back. The one on the right side is still usable when holding it normally, either like a palm or even if you hold finger grip tip, then obviously you have to move your whole hand position to be able to use those. Maybe not this pinky one. I don't know. But for me, holding it like a palm grip then uh, you can't really use this one on the left side at all. I mean, it's it's incredibly awkward to reach back there and try to hit that like that. The one on the right side, instead of being at the tip of your thumb where you would expect it to be, uh, it's actually there kind of behind the knuckle, you can see. But it's not incredibly awkward. It, it's, it's pretty simple to get used to uh, that. Um, again, the LED under the wheel 
is customizable so that's nice you can set it up for pretty much any color you want full RGB rotation um, the one thing I've had trouble figuring out and I'm gonna hook it up and try to to test it in a few games and see what we can do this button it advertises it talks about being a uh, um, a consecutive attack button um, but I can't find any information on exactly what that is or what that means I looked through the book and you know it says right here either way consecutive attack key right but but I don't know what that means it shows uh, down here when the a1 key is held down pressing the left key to execute the function of consecutive attack as soon as the A1 key is released, the left key will automatically switch back to the original setting. So, I mean, I don't really know what that means. So, so apparently, if I hold this button, I guess maybe when I hold left click, instead of having to spam left click, I, I can only assume that's what it means. But we're going to put that to the test, of course, uh, once I get it hooked up and everything like that. Um, not a bad looking mouse. I like the idea of having a single mouse that's basically made to fit for any of the three major grip types. Uh, the only problem I have with that is unless you're the kind of person who shares a gaming system with friends or family, maybe you have roommates or maybe you have uh, children who play with you or you share with your spouse or your significant other whoever the case may be, then maybe this is a perfect mouse for you. But for me, obviously there's no reason I would ever need all three grip types. Uh, I use palm grip and I've tried to use other grip types. It doesn't work. I've tried to change my style because I know the palm grip is kind of a little bit lazy. At least for me, it makes it more difficult to use some of the additional buttons on the sides. The point is, I honestly just really don't see the purpose of it you know it's a neat idea but in actuality there's no reason for it except for the few people who share a gaming system but i think we all agree most do not do that um but let's just get right into the testing phase of it you've seen the mouse of course it is military braided cable it's really really nice cable it comes with their gamdius uh velcro strip for tying up excess cable the USB connector has a unique style to it so that you can find it easily either just by tactile um, move the mouse out of the way so you can see that so you can see it's got kind of sharp corners there so you can feel that by tactile you can get a good grip on it you can easily identify it in the back of your computer so that's kind of nice uh, you know and the uh, the mouse overall seems like it'll be pretty nice I, I want to get it hooked up and see what she can do. Hi guys, so my final thoughts for the Gamdius Apollo Extension Optical Gaming Mouse. Um, it's a pretty decent little mouse overall, but there's just some parts of it I just can't reconcile with. Uh, you know, it's got the extension on it so that it's supposed to be able to fit all three major grip styles, the fingertip, claw grip, and palm grip. Um, unfortunately, even with the extension on there, I feel like it really doesn't fulfill the need for a palm grip style. Uh, it's still pretty short. It's a very small mouse. Um, and that being said, the buttons on the side are too far back. They're kind of odd to try to use. You have to really reach back to use them. And that just makes it a little bit uncomfortable for me. I think even if you were a player who uses the claw grip or the fingertip grip, uh, that's going to really bother you. You're not going to be able to move and hit those buttons very well. Um, and then, of course, I mentioned the consecutive attack button. Uh, I cannot get it to do anything. I tried it in about at least 10 different games, uh, from first-person shooters to role-playing games. Um, I don't really have any real-time strategy games, but... Uh, you know, I don't think it would do much in there. I tried it in Diablo 3, I tried it in Two Worlds, I tried it in Skyrim, I tried it in Borderlands 2, uh, I tried it in, um, what else, in DayZ, uh, and a few others that I have, and it just doesn't do anything. I, I reset it time and time again. Um, I tried to change it and change it back. I tried to, uh, 
update the software and everything and it just doesn't do anything. When I press it, it does nothing. When I hold it and use other buttons, it does nothing. I just, I don't understand fully what the consecutive attack button is supposed to do. I read to you directly out of the book exactly what it says and it's just very unclear. So uh, I would very much like to get that working for you guys and show you, but I just don't know. Thankfully, the redeeming quality is that button can be reset to any macro or any other button, any keyboard function or anything like that that you want. So that's nice. The overall quality of the mouse, it's good quality mouse, but it's just too small. And the things that it's supposed to do, like accommodate all the different grip styles, it really just doesn't do very well. So... Again, I'm just going to give it a silver award, uh, which is unfortunate because I think it has some great ideas. They just weren't implemented very well. So uh, that's a silver award for the Gamdius Apollo Extension Optical Gaming Mouse. And uh, once again, I'm Steve Cox with High Tech Legion signing out. We appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Come over and join us on our forums at www.hightechlegion.com. Uh, if you like us on Facebook, give us a thumbs up there. That's great. Follow us on Facebook, and if you're into Twitter, come over to Twitter and follow us there. You can get daily and regular weekly updates for all of our news and all things tech. And remember, if you haven't seen it here, you probably haven't seen it at all.